Hi there, this is Miss Gretchen. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about caring for your instrument. Those of you who are picking up instruments at school are going to get a little packet that looks something like this. If you have your own instrument, we're going to talk about how you can make this yourself so that you can take care of your own instrument. Um, Violins and violas, the shoulder rest part applies to only you. Cellos and basses, not to you, but all the rest of it applies to cellos and basses. So let's first look in this, look in this packet. So with violins, violas, we should have a sponge. And we should have two rubber bands all hooked together. Here's how you do this. You take one of the loops and put it around the chin rest, then turn it over and the rubber band goes diagonally across and hooks on the corner. You may need to experiment. Some people prefer to hook it on this corner and then some people actually like to go all the way across. So for right now, I'm gonna just put it over this one corner. And then what happens is you just lift up the rubber band and you put the shoulder rest in there. You may need to experiment. You might want it closer to you. You might want it a little further away from you. But either way, those are the basics of it and then you can do a little experimentation for yourself. If you're at home, you can use a sponge here if you don't have a, sho uh, a shoulder rest already um, and a couple of rubber bands might even be able to use hair ties if they're real stretchy. Okay, so the next things that are in the packet. Two more things that are in the packet. Everybody has these in the packet. You have a rag and you have some rosin. So I'm gonna do a video about talking about rosining the bow and caring for the bow, but let me do a quick one just so you've got it here. If your bow is not making any sound on the string, you need rosin. If um, it's making just a tiny little bit of sound, even though even if you put a little bit of pressure on it, you probably need rosin also. If it's sliding around, you need rosin. Put all of the hair, flat hair, onto the rosin and move the bow or the rosin, either one, back and forth a few times. Once you've done that, then try it out and I'll bet that the result will be very different than it was before. So why do you have a rag? The rag is for cleaning off your instrument. Once you've played, you may end up with some rosin here on the fingerboard or rosin down on the body of the instrument. This is for cleaning that off of there because it can build up and be very difficult to remove later. So the, what about now? So now we know what all the four, the four pieces are. What about putting it away? All right, if you're violin or viola, you don't need to take off the rubber band, but you need to take off the sponge. Here's the reasoning. Let me show you what it looks like when you put it in here so you can see. Can you see how it makes it stick up over the end if the sponge is in there? Well, that means that when I close the case, it's gonna smash down on the violin and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to take the sponge out. I can leave the rubber band on, then I can put my violin in. If I have ties or Velcro, do those up. That's keeping the violin safe. It's keeping it from banging around in there. For your bow, loosen up your bow until the hairs are, you can just see a few little hairs starting to be loose, just a few, not, not the whole thing. That's what you need to do. Each time when you put it back in the case, you need to loosen up the bow. Otherwise, it keeps stretching the hair out and then the hair has to be replaced. So, put that in there. Now, what to do, oh, oh I've got one more piece in my case. In some cases, you'll have a, um, a blanket for it, 
put the blanket over it. Once again, that's there to help protect it within the case if it gets flipped over or bounced around. What about these uh, pieces now? What do we do with them all? Probably for most of you, there is a pocket that you can put the rosin and the blank, uh, the little, uh, yeah, what is that little thing? The, um, the cleaning cloth in. Put those in here, or you could put, yeah, put them in a the little hole. What you don't want is you don't want them in here rattling around. That's the whole point. This guy, he's a little bit more problematic for some cases, especially the plastic, uh, the thermoplast case that's, that are really, really shaped like a violin. In this case, I could try putting it underneath here. Now, in my case, that's going to work fine because it doesn't push the violin up. We just don't want it to push, the, push on the violin. If it didn't fit there, I would try in the pocket on the outside. And if it didn't fit in the pocket on the outside, I would look and see if there's any other space in my case that I could put it where it wasn't going to push on the violin, maybe up here and push on the bow. If that doesn't work, then you're just going to need to keep it in the baggie separate. Maybe tape the, ba tape the baggie to the outside of the case or put, it, put a little ring on it and attach it that way, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to put mine in here. And that is it. Then we can close up our case. The violin or the viola is safe. The cellos and basses will also be safe. And you'll have all the things you need to keep it clean and tidy. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.